All right, listen. I've been in denial about this for a while now, okay? And I don't, I don't know how to say this, but I have feelings for you in a way I thought I never would. And I don't know how to deal with that. I know, I know, you're talking to someone, but, 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 oh, this is fucking stupid. I can't tell her that. So, I was wondering if you were free tonight. Oh, you are. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Then maybe we could, you know. You know. <laughs> no, what the hell is that, dude? You're a bitch. A bitch. Purple rain. Purple rain. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? What is there to lose? What, she says no? <laughs> what, then you lose your friendship? Then you never speak again out of awkwardness? Get the fuck out of here! What is wrong with you? You can't talk to me like that. <laughs> Sit in a dark room by myself and die alone? Purple rain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Yo, Miles. What's going on, dude? I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes already. Miles! Miles! Dude, I swear to God, if you're just gonna sit there all depressed and shit next to that window, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Also, get some furniture for this place. It's depressing. Come on, what's up your ass today? You fucked it up, didn't you? What did you guys even go do? I mean, we just went to the movies and got some food, man. No big deal, really. That's fucking lame. You gotta give me more details here. I have nothing to work with. What's her name? What does she even do? We're homies, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Is it that girl from work you're always talking to? Yeah, I fucking knew it. The way you're sitting here, all depressed and shit, like you're about to bust out in the R&B song. Let me be the one to, with your sad face and your little puppy eyes. Let me be the one to, like you're gonna go out in the street, take your shirt off and sing in the rain. Let me be the one to, all right, I'm just dicking around. But uh, that place that opened up down the street, they're having an open mic tonight. The main theme is love. You should go perform one of your pieces, man. Open up. Nah, I don't write about love. <laughs> you tell me you don't write about love? You're a certified lover boy. Dude, we're just Miles friends. Miles is in love. We're just friends, bro. That's it, all right? Besides, she's talking to somebody already. Yeah, someone. You smile like an idiot every time she comes into the room. What do you mean I smile like an idiot? Why are you smiling so hard? I don't know. Well, come on, is it really that obvious? Luis, it's really not that big of a deal, man. Yeah, whatever, man. Seven o'clock, you ready? Ready? You ready for what? Yo, Luis, where are you going? I gotta go out, I gotta go get some uh, milk. What, milk? I just got milk. And he's gone. All right, it's gonna be great, we're gonna relax, have a nice time, all right? Yeah, whatever, man. Some wine, all right. It's gonna be great, we're gonna have loads of fun. No, nope, no, nope, no, sir. Come on. You're gonna have a great I'll time. I'll just text her or something, man. I'll write her a letter. I'll do it old school, man. Come on. Oh, this ain't old school. It's new time. I don't want to do poetry, man. The chain. Gotta project your love. Oh, come on. Sing R&B in the streets. God damn it. Let me love you. Great. Come on. Have fun. Yeah. All right. Welcome, welcome to tonight's beautiful showcase about love. Wow, my goodness. As I look into this crowd, all I can see are beautiful souls tied together by love. If everybody could do me a favor and close their eyes. Feel the energy in the room. Feel each other's energy. Clear your mind with deep breaths and thoughts. Give a round of applause for yourselves and your beauty. <laughs> tonight, tonight we celebrate love through poetry, music, and performance. Truthfully, like you all, I am excited for this showcase. For our first person up tonight to perform a special, true poem, an original artist, one of my favorite students, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Jimmy Clark.
Hey, has 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 anybody been to uh, Wal? Has anybody ever been to uh, Wal? Has anybody ever been to Walgreens and, no and noticed that? I was. Did you guys have you guys seen at Walgreens? For Jimmy Clark, everyone. <laughs> he fainted for love. <laughs> wow. Up next, to perform a song, he calls himself the Guitar Lover Boy. Give it up for Randy. Thank you. Right. Uh, tonight is a very special night. I wrote this song for my beautiful girlfriend. Tonight is actually our three week anniversary. All right, I think she's somewhere here in the crowd. All right, babe, you want to stand up? Come on, babe, stand up. Come on, stand up. A little encouragement. All right. There. <laughs> that's my girlfriend. Yeah, that's her. She's my girlfriend, okay? Let's get started. Your eyes are like the stars, but the stars that didn't die a billion years ago. Your skin is like a, a old banana. A Whole Foods banana, Whoa. cause baby you're priceless. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Damn, you up there, you Whoa! You're priceless, baby. Get a new girlfriend, baby, you're priceless to me. Whoa! Priceless. You're priceless, baby. Priceless to me. Give it up, everyone. <laughs> what the hell is going on? My dad's a producer. Wow, what, what a start to the night. Wow, my goodness. What a beautiful start to the night, everyone. Up next, to perform poetry, please welcome Miles Velasquez. Miles. Miles Velasquez. Right here, baby. Star of the show, right here. How's everyone doing tonight? Um, so I, I wrote this poem uh, just earlier, actually. Well, I don't know if it's really a poem. I just It's just something I kind of wrote out of nowhere for this girl. And um, yeah. she doesn't know that I like her, by the way. We're just friends. Friend zone. Right. So yeah, here we go. Enjoy. I must confess, when I wake, I stress, mad I woke up. Truth is, I might be a little bit in denial. I keep telling myself to pull away, but I, I don't listen. But if I dare to keep these thoughts buried, I might find myself six feet under. Due to reputation, I could be found in seclusion. And with these notions, I find myself in delusion. I'm not sad. Actually, I'm quite angry. Angry at this one fact. Once upon a time, I told myself I would never fall in love again. Yet every time I close my eyes, I listen to your laugh for the sweetest song. In a depressive state of coldness, I steer my mind towards your warm aura. Within divine beauty, I drown myself upon ecstasy. How could one not when your hair glows like the roses do in my dreams? Yet here I am, painting you on a canvas with words that cannot travel to you. I told myself to never fall in love again. I told myself to never fall in love again. Yet why is it when we stare, we say more with our eyes? 
Why is it that we speak more in my dreams than we do in real life? Why is it that I keep finding myself levitating towards you when I know it's wrong? Because it is wrong. It's wrong to feel for you knowing you don't feel the same, so please, leave me to blame. My heart is stuck in vain. I don't know how much longer I could hold this in and not go insane. A peace of mind is quite hard to find in a crazed world, but I look to you for complete harmony. I'm not angry. Actually, I'm, I'm quite in love, in love with this one fact. No, no, I'm not in love with the idea. I'm in love with the soul. Give me the jokes. Give me the attitude. Give me the scars. I told myself I was never shit. I told myself I was never worthy of love. But the day I met your adoring eyes, I knew I wanted something different. I could spend all day telling you about how much you mean to me. All day making you laugh. All day of cooking for you. All day of us just being idiots. Grow our dreams from the roots that stem from our DNA to life and death. I think, I think I want to call you mine. And I think, I think I want you to call me yours. Yeah, I think I love you.